uh, hi guys uh, welcome to our channel code with sunny and today i am going to discuss one of the interesting problems of the lead code and the problem name is maximum product of words length and index number is 318 and problem is categorized as the medium type note that i have already give it a like over here the reason is quite simple uh, this problem is actually an interesting problem and the reason is that we can build up the solution from the base level start thinking from the very uh, deepest level and then we will build up to such uh, build up our solution to such an extent that finally we have a good runtime for this solution okay so talking about this problem statement we will first discuss this problem then look over the constraints and then we will uh, together build it up the best solution of this problem and i will explain at every point of this video at every point of this solution why i have done this thing and how, how we can approach to this idea okay so talking about the problem statement given a string array words return the maximum value of length of words of i into length of words of g and uh, where the two words do not share the common letters if no such two words exist return zero note that uh, the two words should not share the common letters it uh, obviously states that words of i word of i and word of j should be distinct and the distinct is like uh, now we cannot have any character uh, which is present in both of the words that is let's say a character c is present in the word of i then that character c should not be present in word of j otherwise we cannot just product their lengths and uh, maximize our answer okay so if two words do not share in common letters then we have to consider these two words and if there are no such two words we have to return zero note that uh, in your mind okay so talking about the examples, I will discuss the examples over here. For now, let's look over the constraints, whether this constraint is going to help us or not. You can see words length, that is the size of this word array, is going to be at most 1000. So can we have a O of n square solution? Yes, we can have a O of n square solution. That is, uh, if we need to consider two words, uh, choose any two words from this words vector, words array, we can do that in O of n square time. But uh, there is a problem over here, and what is that problem? Words of i dot length is also 1000. We cannot check the if we choose two words, and if we want to check out the common letters, if there exist any common uh, character present in the in both of the strings, we cannot check that efficiently. That is, uh, we can check that efficiently, but we cannot do that with the help of brute force. And the reason is, words of i dot length is going up to 1000. Okay, so I will explain how we are going to optimize this to have a good solution. For now, let us talk about the tags associated with this problem. Many people associate the, this problem with the tags of bit manipulation. I don't consider uh, this problem to be categorized into bit manipulation. You can consider that, but I don't. And the reason is quite simple. You can just uh, build up a Boolean vector and or you can say the boolean 2d vector and you can also solve this problem but that solution doesn't have a good runtime i will show that also but if you consider like uh, using the uh, operators like bitwise or you can have the good solution but uh, but uh, categorizing this problem entirely into the bit manipulation i don't think so because this problem can be solved with the help of various methods okay so let's move on to understand this problem with the help of examples and we will together build up the best solution for this problem. Okay, so let's move further. Okay, so talking about the implementation, that is we have to choose any two words. Let's say I have chosen this word and let's say I am choosing this another word. You can see my first word is A, B, C, W and my second word is F, O, O and you can see these two words are have the characters any of the characters is not matching in this so, uh, that is if we choose any character from this string let's say character uh, x uh, x can be any of them among a b c w this x is not present in this string also and if that happens for any two pair of the string chosen among this uh, vector of strings i am going to just product of the length of this one a b c w length has four and f o o has length of three so my answer would be current answer is 12. So this can be our maximum answer. Uh, but we need to check all the pairs. You can easily see if my vector of strings has array of length n. 
I can choose any two pairs, any two distinct pair of this string in O of n square time. How I am going to do that? Start iterating i from i equal to 0 up to i equal to n minus 1. And for every i, start iterating g from i plus 1 to the n minus 1. So we will have any two pair of distinct strings. And now comes the major role. Let's say I have the string s1 which is nothing but uh, words of i. Okay, so let me complete it down the writing of this stuff. Words. And I have another string s2 what is the uh, words of j now we need to consider or we need to find if there exists a common character between these two strings or not how i am going to check that efficiently the first way that you the first method that is tried in your mind is uh, for every character of this s1 try to check if there exists another uh, the same character in s2 or not you can easily see if i will iterate in s1 the maximum length of s1 can go up to 1000 so for every s character of s1 i will have to iterate up to 1000 and uh, in worst case i am talking about and in this s2 let's say i uh, in worst case i also have to iterate up to 1000 so my iteration goes up to 10 power 6 for if s1 and s2 for any one pair s1 and s2 and there are o of n square pair that is n square pairs almost so my time complexity goes up to O of n power 4. And what is the maximum value of n? Maximum value of n is uh, 1000. And the maximum length of the string would be of 1000. Then my uh, worst case iteration goes up to O of n square 4. n power 4. But you can easily see this uh, n is 1000. O of n power 4 is like uh, around 10 power 12 iteration. This will give us a TLE verdict. Then how we can optimize our solution? this is going to be like very much important so let us talk about how we can optimize our checking that whether there exists a common character between s1 and s2 or not in o of one time note that i'm talking about o of one time so let's move further okay so we can just uh, calculate the checking of whether there exists a common character between s1 or s2 or not in o of one time by just some pre-calculation and what is that pre-calculation Okay, so talking about the pre-calculation, for every strings, this in the array of strings, I have the length as n. I am going to maintain a 2D vector and 2D vector of what? Boolean vector. So, a Boolean vector of size n into 26. And you can easily see I will have 26 distinct characters for every string possible characters. Okay. So I am just going to mark it down if uh, suppose there exists a character A in the ith string I am going to mark it out bool uh, okay let's call it as matrix as mark then I am going to mark it as mark of I am talking about the ith string that is if there exists a character A in the ith string I am going to mark I of this character A as what true and uh, does that makes any sense or does that help us uh, in any possible way or not yes it is going to help us how it is going to help us suppose i am already pre-calculated this mark 2d vector which is for every ith string i am just going to mark it out if there exists some character c in this ith string i am going to mark this uh, mark of i of this character c as true okay and i have already done this entire pre-calculation now what i am going to do is suppose uh, okay so i am going to iterate in o of n square time note that this pre-calculation has been done already that is for every string i am going to do that for this in this will take us uh, how much time worst case time if i will do this pre-calculation the worst case time is iterating for every string and then for uh, every strings length and in worst case it will take o of n square time now still it is good okay now talking about uh, how i how i will maximize our answer now for every pair of strings in o of n square time i'm going to do that again how i'm going to do that i start iterating from 0 to n minus 1 and then j from i plus 1 up to n minus 1 this will take us o of n square time now I have a pair of strings S1 and S2. S1 is words of i and S2 is words of j. And I need to check whether there exists a common character between S1 and S2 or not. 
this is going to be important how I am going to do that and this uh, here comes the role of this mark 2d vector now uh, this will take us of OFN square time now for every pair of strings I will iterate up to 26 times that is starting from character A up to the character Z and for every character that is for S1 and S2 I will check if there exists a common character I will say no this these two pair of strings cannot make our answer and suppose in the case where I will check all the 26 characters and still I haven't find any common character then I can say yes I can make S1 and S2 as a pair which can be included in our answer so let us find their product of their lengths and let us uh, maximize our answer with that length so this is our clue can this be run in a uh, given time constant yes it can be run so O of n squared will be the total number of iterations into for every pair I will have only the least amount of iterations which is 26 so my time complexity in this case would be O of n squared into 26 and this can be run under the given time constraints so this is one of the solution we can just optimize this solution with the help of bits and bits is bitwise so or I am going to also explain that so first of all let us move on to the code and then I will explain how this is going to work entirely so let's move further to the coding part so you can see I have already submitted some code this is the very first code and it takes a 112 ms then I will optimize this code with the help of bits then it takes 44 ms it doesn't matter so first let's look over this one okay so you can easily see I have taken my answer as initial and minimum answer as 0 maximum answer is 0 and its word size and I have a mark 2d vector and now I traded in O of n square time because every string can have a maximum length of 1000 and n can go up to maximum of 1000 which is O of n squared is 10 power 6 iterations uh, 10 power 6 iterations around okay now for every character of this ith string I will have marked mark of i of that character as true and this will going to help us further to maximize our answer now for every i start iterating from j up to i plus 1 to this n and for every s1 and s2 check for check check for the particular character and what is that particular distinct character amount that is we have we will have only 26 distinct characters I can check easily start iterating k from 0 to 26 for a particular ig words of i and words of g and if there exists a common character matching character if there exists at least one character I cannot perform the multiplication of their lengths so I will go to the label h that is I will skip this part answer otherwise I will take maximize our answer and finally return our answer this will give us all test cases passed now comes the role of this bitwise or and how it is going to help us okay so this uh, has a runtime of 44 ms and there is not much difference over there what I have done is I have now make a integer vector of size only n so here is one benefit of memory we cannot have a 2d of size of memory of n into 26 here we will have only n size vector linear array okay so for every i I have what I have done is for every character I have just done this one mark of i or this uh, value and if you notice this value it is nothing but uh, okay so how I can explain in the best possible way is suppose words of ij is character uh, d okay so then d minus a is something like value equal to 4 or 3 I think b c d 3 okay so 3 then I will have performed the 2 power 3 if 1 less than left shift operator is 2 power 3 then I will increment my mark of i with that value actually so if you notice down initially I have mark of i as 0 and if I will take the bitwise or with uh, 2 power 3 which is 8 it now becomes 8 it means that if the binary representation will contain the 1 over here and similarly suppose again we will find out the c then binary representation contain 1 over here and again let's say we again find out the d then again this way, this one would present over here how this is going to help us yes this is going to help us because if I will have some certain number like uh, 
zero, one, two, three. Here, here I will have two power three, and here I will have two power two. Then suppose if I will take the bitwise or like uh, in this case I have taken this D, then taken this C, then my number would be like uh, I am just uh, making my number with that bitwise or. Then my number would be incremented by eight. Then it would be incremented by four. So my number becomes twelve. Okay. So I am just explaining how this is going to help us in future. Suppose uh, I have all, I have done this for all every string. Now coming back to this O of n squared iteration. Now you can see the difference between the previous one and the current one is I am not iterating for 26 times. I am just checking it out for mark of i and mark of j. And if mark of i and mark of j uh, has the bitwise and as zero, I can take the answer. Now there here comes the important concept to understand that. Okay, so first let me erase this stuff. Okay, so suppose I have a string. Like uh, mark of i, that is first. I have, I have a string like d c b. Okay, so if I will increment my mark of i as d c b two power three, two power two, and then two power one. Okay, so if I will do that, then finally my answer would be mark of i would be incremented by eight four and two. It would become fourteen. And if you consider the value uh, bitwise representation, so fourteen has the bitwise representation as eight. Then four and then two, and suppose here I have another string as only a, then mark of i will be incremented by two power zero. Then in that case I have the value as one, and if you consider the bitwise rep uh, representation of one, here only I have one as over here, and rest of all the positions as zero. Okay. Then now if you consider the bitwise and of all these two, that is these two strings, you can easily see. The bits at the corresponding positions are different, so I will have the bitwise and as zero. And if that happens, it means that I will have, I will, I won't have any common character. Then I can take our answer. And suppose here I have a string uh, character A and the character B also. Then mark of I would be incremented by that is uh, position B would be two power one. Then I will have here as one. Then bitwise and will not come out to be zero. Then in that case. Uh, this if a statement would not be executed, my answer would not be maximized for the particular pair. Okay, so this is all about the bitwise operations. So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.